Honorable uh, Speaker, it is with a heavy heart that I stand in Senate today uh, to comment on the motion and the 11 charges that have been proffered against the Deputy President, His Excellency uh, Rigadi Gashagwa. During today's uh, session, when the advocate for the Deputy President made a presentation, I posed a question to the advocate. And the question, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, related to the share question which informs count one. Count one is on gross violation of Article 10.2, Article 73, Article 75, 129, 147, and 131 of the Constitution. Mr. Speaker, sir, it is inconceivable that certain regions of this country, in view of the Deputy President, cannot and do not form part of the so-called, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, the shareholders in this country. To me, Mr. Speaker, sir, the shareholding question and paradigm that the Deputy President has so eloquently, for the longest time possible, stuck to since the election, is the lowest, Mr. Speaker, sir, that he has gone. It is the lowest, Mr. Speaker, sir, because this morning, the advocate was unable to respond to the shareholding percentage for Kisumu County, Sierra County, Migori, and Homer Bay counties, Mombasa County, and many other counties, including West Pokot, Transoia, Mandera, Marsabit, and Vega counties. Mr. Speaker, sir, the shareholding question violates expressly Article 10.2b of the Constitution. Senator Tabitha Karanja. Uh, you, you have two more minutes. It's a system <laughs> for... Mr. Speaker, I, I, I thought that, that was rigging. I thought that was rigging. But Mr. Speaker, sir, may, may, may I move to just conclude, to, to, to move? Mr. Speaker, sir, the presidency of this country, and we have moved under Articles 145 to 155, 150 Constitution to impeach the, Dep the Honorable Deputy President. The embodiment of the role of the President at Article 131 of the Constitution, Mr. Speaker, sir, the President is the embodiment of this country. He represents this country, and therefore, Mr. Speaker, sir, any coalition agreements of any nature must crumble in the face of Article 131 upon an election. The President and his deputy, who is his assistant, must, Mr. Speaker, sir, embrace the principles of inclusivity and Article 10 and be the face and represent all the people of this country. Submissions made by councils for the National Assembly to the effect, Mr. Speaker, sir, that any instrument, be it a political agreement deposited with, deposited with the registrar, Mr. Speaker, sir, that violates this principle of necessity, Mr. Speaker, sir, are unconstitutional. And it is in the face, Mr. Speaker, of this first count that I will vote, vote in favor of the impeachment of the Deputy President. Mr. Speaker, the other counts that are set out and that relate to violation of the principles of national cohesion, Mr. Speaker, sir, have been proven by the submissions made before this house this afternoon violation of Article 147 and 152 of the Constitution have been proved as set out in the charges framed by the National Assembly. Mr. Speaker, for the first time, let me say this, that this country must pull together in one direction. And that direction, if the President, Mr. Speaker, sir, and the Deputy cannot work together, then the interest of this nation cannot be safeguarded by allowing the Deputy President to continue being in office if his ideals are clearly in contravention 
or oppose the ideals that are held by the president of this country. We must support His Excellency President Ruto to run this country in a coordinated manner that, that Mr. Speaker sir, brings together all the citizens of this country in a manner that coalesces all the 45... Senator Tabitha Karanja. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir, for also giving me this opportunity. And I want to take uh, this opportunity and uh, convey my pole to the 